everybody, Keto Mom here. I hope you're having a great day. So I got out my Keto Academy notebook and I thought I haven't discussed what I learned or shared some of the little tidbits of what I learned at this Keto Academy, which was awesome. So we had the opportunity to go to Orlando, Florida, we, where we got to hear from leading researchers and doctors and scientists and just learn about ketones. So we told our kids we were going to ketone school. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you some words or phrases that I picked out from the doctors or the speakers that I could understand because some of it was over my head. The point of this, and obviously you're gonna hear my kids in the background, it's a part of just the mom world, right? The point of this was to build my belief and build your belief if you were there with us to understand the power of ketones. I'm not the expert, I'm not the doctor or the scientist. I could pick out some key phrases, tell them to you, but really it, it made me realize even more why we're doing what we're doing, why we are fueling our bodies the way that we are, why we feel it's selfish of us not to share this because if I didn't share this with you, you wouldn't feel as great as I do. First person up was Dr. Angela Poff. She was awesome. She just stressed that ketones are energy. They're a powerful fuel source. Your diet is so important. We tell people that all the time. Now, you can do the ketogenic diet, a strict diet, or you can take exogenous ketones and I help people make it more lifestyle approach. However you want to do it, your diet is important. And she really talked about ketones being a fuel source, a clean fuel source. She talked about our brains and she said our brains use 20% of our energy, but they only take up 2% of our body. So I thought that was interesting. Next up was Drew Manning. If you recognize this guy, he's got a show on TV, but he's the fit to fat, fit to fat to fit guy. And he was my favorite. He was my favorite because he made it real. He talked about the power of food. He talked about how we all know what to do. We know what to eat, what not to eat. We know those Debbie snacks aren't good. We know we shouldn't eat that bag of Doritos, but he talked about how it's more of a mental state and how a lot of people know what to do, but emotionally they're tied to something and you have to get to their why. You have to get to their to their mind in order for them to succeed. And and so it was, it was so good. Um, I'll read through, he talked about like, there's no secret. You have to be focused, you have to stay consistent, you have to make it a lifestyle and you have to just do it. You need accountability and you have to eat real food. That was my favorite part. One last thing he said was he said, most people associate who they are with what they look like. And so if we can help people mentally, just their mental state and their emotional state, they'll most likely be able to make it a lifestyle and just feel better. Tony Freeman shared with us and all I have to say about Tony Freeman is just go look him up on Facebook. He is super fit. He weight trains. He is a big bodybuilder and he runs on ketones. So Jimmy Moore shared with us and all I have to say is go read the book Keto Clarity or Cholesterol Clarity and that will answer all of your questions. So Dr. Andy shared and what I love that she had talked about was really that ketones or beta hydroxybutyrate, the salt solution really helps with your satiety and your hunger. So, and you have to understand a lot of these doctors and scientists talk about things that again are way over my head so I take the one or two words out and go, ooh, I understand that. Dr. Mary Newport has a phenomenal, amazing story about her and her husband and just the power of MCT oil and ketones. And so you'll just have to look her up on Facebook and read her whole story. Ryan Lowry discussed intermittent fasting. And so a lot of people ask me about intermittent fasting. I don't do it. I love to eat breakfast, but my husband intermittent fasts. I've got a lot of friends that do that. And so is it powerful? Yes. Is it great to do? Start your day off with some fat coffee, keto cream, however you want to do it intermittent fast till lunchtime and it I know it's I know it's great for your body. I just I listened to intermittent fast, heard him say how how great it is for people and I thought it's great for some and I like to eat bacon in the morning. Okay. Kenneth Ford, let me tell you, this man is brilliant and so he worked all I know is NASA and um, he is founder and chief executive officer of the Florida Institute for Human and Machine Cognition. This man was brilliant and is brilliant. This guy's brilliant. And so what I took from him, because sometimes I was, I was just kind of blown away, is this was my little snippet from him. Sleep, sleep is so important. He said, sleep is where the magic happens. And so I heard him say, if you want your muscles to grow, you need to sleep. And that's what I took away from him. He had a ton of other stuff that he talked about. It was all great. Oh, he did say one more phrase. He said, take responsibility for your own health don't be normal. So, Dr. Sebring got up and talked, and he, the one thing I took away from him is he said, have you ever seen a wild animal overweight? They eat the foods they were designed to eat. And I thought, Ugh, 
That's so good. I don't think we were designed to eat Debbie snacks. Okay, Dr. Stephen Cunane. This man is another brilliant man. They all are. So what I got from him is he really went back and just talked about the years and years and years of research and science and documentation and how they've been using ketones. 90 plus years ago, started with epilepsy and talked about babies and their brains and breast milk and how babies are born in ketosis and breast milk has ketones in it and the power of ketones in the brain. That one phrase, the power of ketones in the brain, really was all the way across the board. I think every single speaker talked about brain fuel. Dr. Adam Nally, if you don't follow him on Facebook, you should. He makes a video almost every week and talks about ketones and something, and he is great. And so the biggest thing he talked about, I think from him I learned, is just the diet versus exogenous ketones. You can do the diet. A lot of you know people try to do the diet. Is it hard? It is hard. You can fall in and out of ketosis. He talked about the power of exogenous ketones and how they can help you, how they can help you get into a higher state of ketosis. They can help you with your appetite suppressant and your energy and your focus and and just how powerful they are. This is Dr. Dallas Hack MD. He serves as a as the director of the US Army Combat Casualty Care Research Program and lots of other stuff. And so Super brilliant. What I got from him was the brain works better when it's fueled by ketones. And lastly, Dr. Dominic D'Agostino, which I just put up an interview that we, I did with him earlier. And so the biggest thing from him is he said, nutrition is the cornerstone to health. It is so, so powerful, the foods that you put into your body. And so really what I took away from him is just go research, go to PubMed, and you will find a ton of research, a ton of documentation. You might not understand it all because I don't of tons of different applications that ketones can be great for. So, the, the event was phenomenal. We learned a ton about ketones and ketosis, the power of ketones and for the brain. This is what I can tell you. Ketones are powerful. If you fuel your body right, you're gonna feel better. You're gonna feel amazing. If you love it, you need to share it with others and that's what I'm doing with you. Have a great day.